the Akpa digger for another video. So uh, today, no, tomorrow rent is due, so no choice. I have to make a retreat in my bank account. So all clean, all the ends have been cut. All clean. And I have that big fat one too. So those are called clean red. Clean, it's mean because there's no more metal on it. I took off all the screws and normally there's a bracket with a noodle like a U that go back connected to the other. So I all cut them. If you're interested, go check me my video. I'll try to put the link below. So I'm gonna change those. All those have been weighted. No choice. I can't uh, take chance with the scrapyard. So two buckets of wire. I'm hoping that those are giving or will give me more than just copper number two, copper wire number two. Uh, small, small bin of motor. But I'm going to the yard that pay the best for those and the wires so I'm gonna take advantage of it by the same time and four baths I had a little gift from my plumber he left the job but he told me that uh, he had another bath but he then told me that he has a machine down there so uh, I was intrigued what was inside of it I busted up but it's just a cast iron really heavy piece I have another big motor down there that I'm gonna bust. A few wires too, but I'm gonna break it at the scrapyard. Just throw it on the ground and it's gonna be okay. Uh, stainless steel sink. So, should be a decent load. Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to pay the rent with it. <laughs> so, yeah, I found it kind of pretty, so I had to show it to you all guys. Copper aluminium red, so clean red, copper alu. My yard gave me one dollar thirty seven right now with the copper price still high, so I'm gonna get rid of it to pay my bills. So, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Cheers. One of my friends, just in front. Full load, decent load. So another mess in my living room, but uh, seriously, uh, I just didn't want you to think that my place is a, a dump. I clean everything with my dishes done. Uh, <laughs> My floor is not, is not that dirty. <laughs> I passed them up, you know, <laughs> understand? So just want to make sure, but I do scrap, yeah, in my living room. Uh, yeah, I was uh, expecting to do this all day long, so, uh, getting out the ground to get ready for my wire stripping <coughs> machine. So, but right now just had a call. No, the scrap calling me, so I can't uh, miss that. I'm going to go get a washer and a dryer. So stop sitting on your ass, go get to work. Uh, I have a special day today. I'm gonna eat my favorite meal. Uh, where is them? Yeah, this is my, uh, how do you say, uh, in French we say pêche mignon. But it's my sister's birthday, she pretty likes that too, so we're gonna eat uh, surf and turf. Yeah, I like rich, a bit of looks, luxury. So uh, let's go, let's go to work. Thank you, God. I love you. Your dryer loaded. Lucky, like, uh, 
how I am. I found a new contact for a garage door. So I took those. Uh, while I was coming here, that guy was really shocked. I came here like in half an hour. So done deal. I was rushing myself because I have some visit tonight. But, and hopefully it's gonna be still there. I saw a water heater. So I'm gonna rush myself. Hopefully it's still gonna be there. So, scrap life! Scrap till you die, tabarnak! So yeah, just wanted to mention something. I, I put some ads on Kijiji, so free scrap pickup. And I, I know that there's a lot of competition. There's like maybe 15, 16 ads beside mine. So, I know that if you choose a mine, I'm lucky, so I'm gonna give you some amazing service, the, mo the, the best I can. But some customers are just like crazy, you know, they just want to get rid of it like in a matter of seconds, you know, we're not flying, I don't have any bacons on my top. I can't stop the traffic, you know, so anyway, that customer rushed me a lot, gave, told me if you're not there in one hour, uh, too bad, so sad, I'm going to go work, so you lost your bet. So I was like really, really rushing myself to go there, and it's like a 20 minute road from my place. So not that far, but with the traffic and all, I can't calculate that, you know, with our job, my job, I can't stop at somewhere, like normally I wouldn't grab that water heater and I hope it's still gonna be there because just that tank pay for the whole trip the, the gas you know so if it's if I lost that tank it's gonna be hard for me to pay for those expenses so anyway I just wanted to say that if you call for a scrap pickup Take it easy. Maybe call a week before. <laughs> Me, I, I want, I'm going to take an appointment and I'm going to be there at that appointment, you know. But if you call, bang, bang, bang. Anyway, so I hope, I hope it's still going to be there. I hope I wasn't wrong either because I saw it just at the corner of my eye. I didn't pass in front of it. But I didn't have any, enough time to come back to pick it up and go to that place. I would be late, so I had to rush and don't stop. Juste au coin entre euh, de Normandville. 1290 Tilmo, juste de ce côté-là. Là. Ouais, c'est un frigidaire. Un gros merci, frigidaire. monsieur. Passez une belle, belle joyeuse fête. Merci. And a fridge. The guy told me that there was a fridge just here. 12.19 Ah, uh, yes sir! So, a bridge! <laughs> and hopefully I'm gonna be able to go grab that tank too. Oh, it's a small, small bridge.
so a little fridge so I'm coming with me over there and hopefully I'm gonna have enough space and I didn't dream about that water heater if I'm not wrong there's a water heater just the other side of that street but now I found myself few heaters so I'm grabbing them it it's still there so, not gonna waste time with it I'm gonna directly go to the scrap yard and drop those so how could I yeah so I have a few minutes to wait here but I'm try I'm gonna try to show you something guys I saw you guys don't do those when you don't have any pipe wrench like that just with a normal screwdriver just to make laugh of me I'm not gonna be able to do that one screwdriver don't need a pipe wrench for those anyway that tank first of all the the woman who lives here told me that uh, she's gonna call me next next week but I spotted it from way back down that street I just did like a fast speak with my eyes like ching 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 like the crazy uh, chicken with no head I say always that but uh, yeah come on empty faster my steel is dropped still have aluminium to drop going over there uh, oh 235 still went up here nice Two hours later. Still is dropped. Still have aluminium to drop. Going over there. Oh, 235 still went up here. Nice. All right. For those that say that the gas price is directly uh, connected with the scrap price gas went down of 10 cents yesterday and scrap price went up of 15 bucks per ton so I don't know maybe for you American guys that have a, an attachment but uh, for us over here seriously there's no no same connection between of them so just saying you that Eighty-five bucks of steel for one fridge, one water heater, and a washer and a dryer, and a rack for a garage door too. And twenty bucks fifty for the sheet aluminium that I had. So done deal. Another day, another dollar, and I put forty-five bucks of gas. One dollar twenty-two per liter. Scrap till you die, tabernak. Post up in the walls just to get the wire in. Took the hot water tank and left over appliances. Aluminum siding and had to come back. Cause the furnace so big it wouldn't fit in the back. Now it's copper by the pound, wired by the inch. Got a check on the first and it's gone by the fifth. Scrap a dime, you